Yeah, absolutely I voted against it. Uh, what we witnessed last night was a stitch-up of the Irish people of gargantuan proportions. Um, the government have now locked in stone this state and its citizens' uh, commitment to pay the full gambling debts of Anglo-Irish Bank, 30 billion euro plus interest. Uh, has, it's now been locked in legal stone uh, in a really a charade last night where they rammed through legislation that nobody had read, I suspect most of the government had not even read, that we only got to see about half an hour uh, before it came before the doll, uh, but which clearly is being done as part of a premeditated and pre-planned uh, pre uh, effort by the European Central Bank and the government uh, to get us to take full responsibility for Anglo-Irish's uh, gambling debts and the Irish people are going to pay the bill for this for generations uh, in terms of cuts, austerity, money that should be going into jobs and services uh, we will now be paying back to the ECB to pay off Anglo-Irish's uh, gambling debts. Well I, I think this was all pre-planned with the ECB uh, I think this has been choreographed with all the stuff we saw last week uh, the tarnished in Latin America talking about governments collapsing ministers talking about Croke Park being on the line. Uh, this was all about drumming up a sense of uh, anticipation uh, to then ra uh, justify ramming this bill through and then making an announcement. But the announcement will be that we are paying the full amount of Anglo-Irish's gambling debts, uh, 30 billion euro plus interest. Um, they'll try and dress it up as some sort of uh, deal, but in reality we are now fully and comprehensively on the hook uh, for the gambling debts of Anglo and we will pay a very heavy price for that. Well, the government just utterly trampled on democracy last night. They made a sham uh, of the democracy in the, that's supposed to exist in this country uh, and it was reminiscent of what happened on the night of the infamous bank guarantee where again legislation which bankrupted this country was rammed through uh, essentially under the dictates of the European Central Bank. Uh, so what we saw last night was Fine Gael, Labour and Fianna Fáil, importantly, acting as birds of a feather, all when the chips were down, backing the bankers, backing the ECB uh, and handing the bill to ordinary Irish citizens.